judge, a federal judge voiced support for Texas and Missouri in their lawsuit against Biden's termination of the Trump era policy. The judge ordered that the Biden administration begin enforcing the policy and prove its enforcement through monthly reports. My next guest, Giancarlo Canaparo from the Heritage Foundation, wrote extensively about this matter in his latest piece at the Daily Signal, and he joins us now to discuss the details. Welcome, Giancarlo. Thank you for having me. Grace, you note that tomorrow on August 20th, the Remain in Mexico policy is scheduled to go back into effect unless the Biden administration wins an emergency appeal. Do you know where things currently stand on this? Yes, so the Biden administration has indeed appealed. Uh, but like you said, there's no order from the Court of Appeal yet. So uh, effective tomorrow morning, the Biden administration will have to enforce the Remain in Mexico policy. Uh, and if it doesn't, that will be a great test of whether this administration thinks it's above the law. So when it comes to this Friday ruling from this federal judge, walk me through some of the, 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 the thinking on this matter. Because it seems like the Biden administration, they didn't weigh any of the pros or cons. They didn't look at any of the pros of the Remain in, policy, Remain in Mexico policy. They just went, oh, from Trump era, toss. Right. In fact, what you saw from this case was the Biden administration didn't look at much of anything. Uh, and there's a law on the books called the Administrative Procedure Act. And that requires the government, whenever an agency undertakes an action, to balance the pros and cons, explain its reasonings, uh, show the data that supports it and the rationale that supports it. The Biden administration did none of that. It rushed through this policy of terminating the Remain in Mexico policy as quickly as it could. And this is a trend with the Biden administration. Just this week, we saw three cases uh, we saw him lose three cases under the Administrative Procedure Act, and not just from Republican judges, but Obama judges, Clinton judges. Uh, there is a, a bipartisan bench that is constantly uh, handing judgments against Biden for acting either lawlessly or carelessly uh, when, it un when it does um, its agency actions. And there are two takeaways from this. Either the administration just thinks it is above the law and that it can promulgate agency actions however it wants to, uh, despite the Administrative Procedure Act, or the administration is grossly incompetent. And there are, those are the only conclusions that come from this string of defeats. It seems like there's a little bit of both going on there, taking the entire Biden administration at this point. In its totality, about seven months of it, there's uh, not a lot good to show for it. But you also talk a little bit about the, the domino effect that happened from the Biden administration trying so quickly to scrap the Remain in Mexico policy and how that actually got them heading uh, running head into, I believe it was Section 1225. Walk me through some of those details. Yeah, absolutely. So Section 1225 is an immigration law that requires the government to do two things when illegal aliens appear at the border, either uh, detain them pending their uh, hearings or send them back to Mexico pending their hearings. Now, the Remain in Mexico policy was just a way to give force to the second part of that of that law. Biden scrapped the Remain in Mexico policy. Now the surge is so enormous that he cannot detain uh, the, the number of illegal immigrants that are coming across the border. And so the judge in the case said, you are not complying with Section 1225 because you can't detain them. So you must reinstate, remain in Mexico, or you're violating the immigration laws. And also in your article, you actually you set aside some space in your article to actually praise the judge and his decision making. Uh, talk to me about some of your praise and why you believe that the judge is worthy of it. Yeah, so this is Judge Matthew Kaczmarek, a remarkable opinion in a, in a number of ways. Number one, all every single fact that he cites in his opinion comes straight from the Biden administration itself or other uh, previous government policies and documents. This is not the judge going out on a limb and, and pontificating himself. These are Biden's facts. The facts on the ground are terrible to Biden in Biden's own words. And second of all, this case went from filing to trial to a 53-page opinion in four months flat. That is incredible, an incredible feat of judicial work. I mean, he must have just worked around the clock for four months. And that tells you that this is a judge who really takes this this important, this important, very uh, important issue very carefully, much more carefully than the Biden administration does. And it's in charge of uh, the border. It's incredible, the, the sheer incompetence on uh, his compliance obligations and managing the border from this administration is it's shocking. But good to see we have some government officials like Judge Kaczmarek who are uh, up to the task. And, and do you think, do you see perhaps in the future the Remain in Mexico policy being able to be re-implemented? Or do you think that the Biden administration will just go through all the roadblocks legally, uh, judicially, that they can find? 
Well, my sense reading Judge Kaczmarek's opinion, and again, it is meticulous and rigorous. It's very strong uh, on appeal. It's not likely to be reversed on appeal. Uh, but because uh, the Biden administration does have the power to terminate Remain in Mexico, provided he can uh, comply with Section 1225 some other way. Uh, so he will probably try again uh, in a more careful method, uh, more compliant with the APA to uh, terminate Remain in Mexico. But uh, if the border surge continues, if he doesn't get it under control, he's going to run smack into t Section 1225. And as long as that's the case, um, Remain in Mexico is going to be here to stay. Nice to finally have some good news to report on. Giancarlo, thank you so much for joining us tonight.